Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we are going to talk about the management of the 4 gauge firewalls. As you have seen up to this point we can access and manage the 4 gauge through the CLI, so through the console, but there is also another option which I'm sure you would enjoy. And this one is the graphical user interface. Well, in order to access the, uh, the 4 gauge firewalls through the GUI, we will use HTTP protocol. And again, we have to make sure that we have access to this uh, 4 gauge firewalls. So 253, it's the, um, it's the second 40 gate. And let's test again 254. And this one responds to ICMP. Perfect. Now what we have to do is go on to a browser. I'm now opening Microsoft Edge and here is 192.168.100-100.255.0 sorry. So 192.168.100.254 and we have another one for the second. So 253. So I'm now opening uh, two HTTP sessions to them. So I want to manage them through HTTP. It's easier in a graphical user interface than uh, just typing on the CLI. But it seems that it's not working. So we can reach this page. But at the same time, we have seen that ICMP connectivity is working. So again, what could be the issue? Well, remember we have talked up to this point about some, uh, some protocols being allowed or added to the list so that uh, in that case, uh, ICMP uh, to work, right? So this time it's basically the same thing. So we have connectivity to both of the firewalls, but HTTP sessions or HTTPS sessions are not permitted to these uh, machines. So let's go to the CLI. This one is 481. I will now log in. So admin, no password, just hit enter. And let's check the configuration for uh port 2 so show system interface port 2 i'm not using question mark because i want to see exactly the running configuration so i now uh, hit enter and we can see that in the allow access list we have now ping which we have added earlier in order to have connectivity icmp connectivity between the lan pc and this specific firewall now let's also add HTTP, HTTPS so that we can manage the 48 firewall through an uh, HTTP session. Let's go on and say config system interface and I will edit port 2. Instead of saying set allow access, it will override the existing configuration if we do that. I will say append, so add something else. To the allow access list and if i hit now question mark you can see here http https access so let's add this http and https https and http and and this should work now right so let's try and refresh the page so refresh And here it is. So now I'm being asked for username and password credentials. I will uh, do an admin on the user, nothing for the password. Click login. And here it is. So I'm now able to log in to the graphical user interface in order to uh, manage this 40 gate firewall. Let's do the same for the second one. So again, go to FortiGate 2. I will now log in with admin and no password. Let's show system interface port 2. This is facing the LAN. We have only ping. We should add something else, right? So HTTP. So config system interface. And let's say edit port 2. So edit port 2. Again, I will not say set allow access. In order, well, let's do it. So set allow access, HTTP and HTTPS. I will now say end and say show system interface port.
port 2 in order to see the current applied configuration. So now you see that when doing only uh, when doing set allow access only those specific options that you will uh, put there will be added and old ones will be overridden. So now if you go and try to ping again so 253 so the second 48 it will not work anymore. So let's do it the proper way now. 482 configure system interface edit port 2 and append allow access also ping and end going back to the command prompt i will be able to uh, issue another ping so let's say 253 and now the ping is successful let's get back to microsoft edge and try also to connect to the http through http to the second uh, 40 gate so now 192.168.100.253 login credentials admin no password hit enter and i should be provided graphical user interface in order to configure the firewall so 40 gate 1 it's okay yes here is the host name that we have defined previously 40 gate 1 let's go to 40 gate 2 now so it's now uh, loading the page so here it is now we have gained access in order to, to configure verify and manage uh, both of the 40 gates and guess what because now we have access to this um, to this uh, interface if you go to whatever 48 you want and if you're running if you're running the graphical user interface but at any point you need because there are some some of the cases like this you need to go to the CLI here is the magic button to do it so if I click this one it will open a CLI console so that I can access through the through the console the 48 from the web uh, from the web interface so this is it so show what let's show an interface i don't know show system interface port 2 the one that we have configured here is the configuration the ip and the allowed access protocol list so thank you for viewing and see you in the next lecture